Chartrand, her shot was actually blocked by Roulette, and here comes Rotry. Jamie Lee Rotry in on the breakaway, and she scores! Oh, what a goal! 15.32 remaining in the second period, and we've got our first of the night. Jamie Lee Rotray in all alone on the breakaway, makes it one nothing for the Thunder. And just like that, after we talked about the sloppy play from Brampton, they've been having a hard time getting the puck out of their own zone, never mind getting a shot on goal. Up to Brampton to try to limit that. Here comes Burchard back the other way. Offense from defense, maybe so. Burchard drops it to McParland, who sneaks it through, and Brampton go up 2-0. Wow. Well, a great individual effort by Courtney Burchard to take the puck up the ice, create the space, and then make the drop pass. But this is one take that I think Sydney Avison would like to have back. As Richards comes up with it for Brampton. The physicality certainly picking up here. A lot of tough grinding play out there. Simmons looks for the bouncer. Oh, she tops it in. Oh, what a fortunate play for Brampton and an extremely unfortunate play for Montreal. But that kind of sums up this game. Brampton has gone the bounces. Montreal hasn't. And Dania Simmons makes it 3 nothing for the third. Now watch this from Simmons. She goes for the high sticks, thinks about it, and lets the puck bounce on the ice. Finds it on the other side of the defender and pots. Hill oversteps it. And here comes Jess Jones, two on one with Rattray. Jones goes for the empty cage. That makes it 4 nothing. That'll just about do it. 6.05 left in the third. Brampton make it 4 nothing on an empty netter from Jess Jones. And really, that was inevitable. That was, there's too much time left. You're, you're down by three goals. And Brampton, as we've mentioned, has done a very good job of getting the puck out of the zone and onto one of their own sticks.